Hi everybody, today I'm gonna to walk you through how to hide specific products or collections in your store from specific customers. So whether it's a wholesale product that you don't want your regular, your D 2 C customers to see, or it's a special edition product you only want a specific set of customers to see, whatever the case might be, I'm gonna show you how to hide those specific products or collections in a fast and scalable way. So. An easy way to do that is with an app right here. We're showing you Wholesale Lock Manager B2B. As you can see, the ratings are 4.9 and full disclosure, we are the developers of this app. Um, so after you click here to add the app, you'll be in it right here. And real quick, let's just go to the store. And as you can see, I'm not logged in right here. And we have this, we have this product right here, this American Tourister Moonlight two-piece set. So this is available to everyone. And let's say I only want my logged in customers to see this. I'm not logged in right now and I can see it. So I'm gonna show you how to create that lock. So I go to create lock right here and let's do hide American Tourister Moon, Moon American Tourister Moonlight two-piece set. We're gonna have the lock enabled right here. So remember, I only want my logged in customers to see it. So we have logged in customers can access right here. Um, if you didn't want them to access it, then you'd have that logged in customers cannot see it. Um, but just, just for uh, demo purposes right here, if I wanted to make it only specific customers with a specific tag, so maybe we gave them the tag wholesale. So when they log in, they can access it or if I want to just do specific emails. So we have a lot of different options. We're gonna keep it simple here with just logged in customers can access. And then we'll go to specific products right here. There's other locks using the app that you can do, but we're just gonna do a product lock for this and then show a collection one. So this was the product right here. And we're gonna hide it from things like search, other listings, etc. And if people are able to make it to the URL, we will send them to a specific, we're gonna send them to the contact us page because we don't want them to see it. So if I click this product right here and I have this URL, now let's go back right here because I'll show you what happens when we, when we try and go to that URL after. So let's go to save lock right here. And we can see it's enabled. So only logged in customers can access that product. So now let's refresh right here. And now you can see that product is not there. Now remember we had that, um, we had that URL right here. Maybe somebody sends someone a URL and they click enter. When they do that, they're gonna go to the contact us page. We're gonna redirect them. And you can redirect them to any page you want. Um, but just showing you right here. Now, if I log in, remember login customers will be able to see the product. Let's go home. And right here, we can see the product, which is, which is awesome. So using the lock, only logged in customers have access to this. Um, now let's do a collections lock. So we're going to go right here and we're going to change this. Um, so we'll change the name since we're, we're changing the type of lock right here. We're going to do this hard side right here. So real quick, if I go to here, I'm logged in um, and I, I see this hard side collections and let's, let's log out. And we see this hard side right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is only logged in customers can access this. And if you saw, I logged out. Um, so let's do hard side collections lock right here. And we're going to, we're going to hide it from all of these areas. And, um, sometimes it does require theme integration. So if, if that's the case, we can get it done usually in one to two business days or less. Just email us themes at wholesalehelper.io. 
and we're going to have that same redirect rule. So only logged in customers can access this. Um, the lock's not enabled yet. Um, as you can see right here, I'm not logged in. And now once I save it, I've saved it. And now let's refresh right here. Now that collection is no longer there. And if I log in, I should have access to it. And now I can see it. So this is just a really quick and fast way if you want to hide specific products or collections. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you how to create locks around hiding visitors with a passcode and then also show ability to um, set it up on a backup store as well as if you want to hide specific uh, prices or the add to cart button from visitors. So we have all of these. We'll be sharing them more. If you have any questions, email us themes at wholesalehelper.io. If you'd like to hide specific products, collections, prices um, from customers. Thank you.